Hey everybody, Alyssa here with Greenlight Messages. Thank you for being here and thank you to my new subscribers. We have Kuma over here snoring, so you might hear some rumbling sounds occasionally as this video progresses. This week we are going to talk about orange calcite. Isn't it pretty? Doesn't it look like an orange creamsicle? Makes you want dessert? Maybe orange cream soda? It's like the first thing I think of when I see this. I'm like, hmm, I could totally go for an orange cream soda right now. <laughs> this was a very fun and playful journey. The stone is very childlike and joyous. And it's just awesome. It kind of just has this heartbeat of happy, to be honest. <laughs> And when I went into this journey, it was amazing. It was walking into this beautiful field with lush green grass. The trees were all bright and green. There were birds chirping and butterflies. And it was just like the perfect spring day. It was just, it was awesome. And as I'm basically just like letting my inner child go wild in this, um, <laughs> in this journey, cause it was just so much, fun and just beautiful, I get greeted by orange calcite. And so orange calcite had some words to share with us, you guys. The words were, I help remind you to keep your dreams alive. I remove the word no and remind you of pure potentiality. Your passions were pure in your innocence. And then over time, you forgot how to dream. I am here to take you to this space and remind you to dream again, to dream big, and to help you work these dreams into being. She says, I remind you of the pure creativity source within you. So you reawaken the imagination so that you can put your story to life. She says, I am a stone of imagination, the doorway to pure potential where all is dreamt into being. So this stone is great for, one, if you want to do any sort of inner child work, orange calcite is your friend because it's such a beautiful, joyous, happy stone. And I feel like it pretty much draws everybody into it. It's almost like I, I, have, I have yet to meet someone who doesn't like orange calcite. <laughs> and it just feels so happy. You know, it just feels so joyous. And... um. You know, it really reminded me that imagination is the space between our dreams and our reality, if this makes sense to you. You know, in our waking time, we think and we have a lot going on in our mind. And when we can imagine something, we can start bringing that to life. So it's like you have your day-to-day -day life and you have your imagination, like, oh, I wish this could happen and I would like that to happen. And you start using your imagination and then you know, your imagination starts like reaching out for those dreams, you know, especially reminding you to dream the big dreams. Like, what did you want when you were a kid? You know, did you want to be that firefighter and you also wanted to own a restaurant and you wanted to be a veterinarian and you wanted to do like a million things? Like this stone reminds you that those dreams can become a reality. And it reminds you to reawaken your imagination. I know a lot of us when we were young, you know, we're told, oh, that's just your imagination. Like you're just making things up, it's just your imagination. But, you know, your imagination is a pure fertile ground for potential. I mean, where does it, like where do your ideas and stuff like start, you know? It's gotta, it's gotta have somewhere to start, you know, and if you can think it in your imagination, you can dream it, then you have somewhere you've started and you can bring those things into your life because this is your life. You can make it whatever you want it to be. You don't need permission from anybody and you don't owe anybody anything. This is your life. You make it what you want it to be. So whatever dreams you had as a kid or anything that you want to do, you're never too old to do it, okay? Just allow yourself to live your dreams. Go back to, you know, when you thought you were, could be Superman or Superwoman or, you know, just allow yourself to go back to that state of the passion and pure potential and work from there. You know, it's the, it's the steps and you helping weave that dream into your reality. So, you know, this stone really helps you nurture that inner child and 
help you go back to that time when like, you know, I love that. She said the word no was not present. That's like the word no wasn't in your vocabulary yet. Like (laughs) you weren't, you know, you weren't told that this is just your imagination or blah, 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 blah. It was like before life got in the way, you know, you had all these big dreams, right? A lot of us did. So this kind of reminds you to get back to that place and to live your life the way you want it to be. You're never too old to do anything. This is your life. You dream it, you make it. It is what you want it to be. And I'm sure we've all heard this many times, but it is very, very true. You don't need permission from anybody to be and do whatever you want because this is your life. (laughs) <laughs> it's your life. Okay. So, um, towards the end of the journey, I got to hang out with Ganesha for a few minutes and it was a lot of fun. He's very playful. And, um, I really feel like this stone is one that can help you connect with Ganesha as well. He's, he's just fun. He's like radiant and fun. And also he helps you overcome obstacles. So if you're feeling like you're having obstacles in your life, He's your buddy. (laughs) So this is a great stone. It's actually readily available and it's not very expensive. So that's super helpful. If, if you guys are like me and you kind of have like a budget for stones or you may have like a little to almost nothing budget, these ones are super cheap. So, um, this size, I don't remember how much it was or even where I got it, but I love it so much. And, um, meditate with this stone, let it, re-enliven your imagination again and let it help you reawaken your dreams and help you feel that joy and that pulse and that just like vibrance of you can live and have whatever it is that you want in your life so it kind of brings in a fresh energy if you work in an office or you have a desk you could have this at your desk too i mean it's just it's a really happy stone to have and it helps remind you of the passions you had when you were a kid and where you want to be and what you want to do and that your dreams and what you want to do with your life are attainable and it's your life. So you can make it what you want it to be. All right. That is my whole message for you guys for orange calcite. I just don't want to stop playing with it right now. (laughs) But um, I wanted to remind you two weeks from today, I am doing my virtual event of, um, Meeting your power animal or teacher. I almost got my words all mixed up. (laughs) So this is going to be an event where I'm going to take you on a shamanic journey to meet your power animal or your power teacher. So it's a very fundamental step if you are looking about, if you're looking into wanting to learn more about shamanism, um, finding your power animal or teacher is a great first step. So um, I will leave a link Um, right here. Which side is it? This side, that side, one of these sides (laughs) to my website where you can send me an email. If you want to sign up, there's only, I want to say like five spots left, not a whole lot of spots left. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. You get to hang out in your jammies if you want to, and just be comfy and, It's going to be a very exciting time. So I'm super excited to share my knowledge of shamanism with you guys. And I mean, I've been studying it for three years now. I still feel like I'm still a baby shaman, but because there's just, there's so much to learn, but I feel confident that I can help you start your shamanic journey if you are interested. So Definitely um, Facebook. I have a Facebook event posted. So um, down below is my Facebook. You can find it there. And I would love to hear from you guys. If you have an orange calcite or if you want to talk about orange calcite, I am always down. It's just a happy stone. I love it so much. (laughs) So light and love to all of you. I hope to see you at the meeting your power animal or teacher. And if I don't, that's okay. I might be doing another one again in the near future. So we might be able to get in on the next one. Um, I think that's all I have to share today. I will see you guys next week with another stone because we are working our way into power and joy stones. And this was a great little introduction that works between the two. So yay, orange calcite. (laughs) I'll talk to you guys soon. Lots of love. Bye.